It's summertime! And in the eternal city of Rome, learning a new language is very much in style. You may ask, why is this so? From your friendly cat correspondent, here is my take in this ancient Rome news report just for you. But first, let me say that learning a new language can make understanding grow and promote peace wherever you go. The Romans found this out late, for had they learned another language like Greek, they could have made the city of Rome more safe. Allow me to explain. In the ancient city of Rome, the spoken language is Latin, but further down south in Tarentum, a city founded by the Spartans, the spoken language is Greek. It might interest you to know that Tarentum is the city of Archytas, the famous mathematician and robot maker of the ancient world. Archytas made the world's first ever drone, a wooden flying pigeon. One fine day in Tarentum, the Tarentines were celebrating the feast day of Dionysus, the god of wine. While enjoying a theatre play, the Tarentines were alarmed to see ten Roman military ships sailing so close to the coast of their city. The Tarentines were angry. How dare the Romans disturb their celebrations on such a solemn day? How dare they interrupt a theatre play? The Romans were also violating a previous agreement for their ships not to pass close to the coast of Tarentum City. Feeling disrespected, the Tarentines threw sticks and stones at the ships, sinking four and capturing a fifth. Later in Rome, the Romans were eager to convey to the Tarentines that they meant no disrespect, that it was not their intention to have their ships sail close to Tarentum, but bad weather buffeted the ships towards Tarentum's direction. The problem, however, is to find a Roman who can make this explanation to the Tarentines in Greek. One Roman official, Lucius Postumius Megalus, arrogantly declared that he can speak in perfect Greek and can clear any misunderstanding with the Tarentines by his irresistible charm and superior wit. Convinced, the Romans sent Postumius to Tarentum. On his way to Tarentum, Postumius did not even bother to prepare any speech in Greek nor practice what he had to say a little bit. Indeed, as a matter of course, Postumius delivered in Greek his discourse full of grammatical errors, with accent unimaginably the worst. Many Tarentines were confused, others were amused. Thinking that he is a crazy fellow, one or two gave him a blow, while an insolent joker tried to pee on his toga as he hurried to go. Humiliated, Postumius huffed back to Rome to report to the Romans the undignified treatment he received in Tarentum. He, however, omitted to mention his badly worded speech in Greek, which no Tarentine could fathom. Offended, the Romans declared war against Tarentum. And so, the city of Rome is again embroiled in war, simply because of Postumius' bad Greek grammar. With my best wishes to you as you learn a new language under the sky, I bid you goodbye. This is Chonky, reporting for WinR. What is news in ancient Rome?